Finland may cut aid to African countries supporting Russian war in Ukraine. Here's a summary of the article. Home news politics the capitals Finland may cut aid to African countries supporting Russian war in Ukraine. Content type, news based on facts, either observed and verified directly by the reporter, or reported and verified from knowledgeable sources. The government will not only cut development aid by millions but also prioritize and redirect it. Ukraine will become a new recipient country, Tevio told Yale. We use essential cookies to make our site work. With your consent, we may also use non-essential cookies to improve user experience, personalize content, customize advertisements, and analyze website traffic. By clicking, accept, you agree to store on your device all the technologies described in our cookie policy. You can change your cookie settings at any time by clicking, preferences. This post received a score of 25,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. TLDR Our new government is cutting foreign aid and this is one way in which the remaining aid will be prioritized. And the, we are cutting foreign aid as whole, is the more important policy thing here. The, punishing Russia supporters, is a distraction sideshow matter. We cut their aid, but don't worry they are bad people. Trying to sidestep the more inconvenient fact of yeah, but that cut is not reallocated to, good guy, country either. No, actually Ukraine will get some of the money allocated to Africa earlier. I imagine this wild be quite popular here. That's actually great. I would love it if my country stopped all African aid and redirected it at Ukraine. To be fair, the more we all pull out of Africa the more China buys it up. They own the majority of infrastructure in the continent last I read. This is what too few people understand. Foreign aid is a part of political strategy. It is not mainly motivated by altruism. Foreign aid is oftentimes really just another form of domestic welfare. The U.S. government for instance will pay domestic American companies for goods and then ship them off to a foreign country. And it is a way to buy political, military, and economic influence in a country. If these countries have the money to be helping Russia, they obviously don't need the outside help now do THRY. That's quite unfair. Do you have any idea how expensive the life of an African dictator is? Just the price of a Russian mistress in a Parisian apartment could be $1 to $2 million a year. I'm not even going to go into the prices of yachts in Monaco. After all that, there's hardly anything left in the budget for a few billion dollars in an offshore account for retirement. You had me up until you mentioned retirement. Everybody knows African dictators never retire. They either die in office or against the wall outside the office. Yeah, but they still have offshore account for retirement. They think they do, but it is embezzled just as well as other accounts in the country. So if it s corruption all the way up and down, where does the money end up? Is it sitting unused in some Swiss bank vault? Do you think Swiss bankers work for free? It's insurance for dictators. I bet I'll escape alive. Versus, we bet you won't. It goes to Switzerland's PR team who propagandizes their neutrality. Yeah, they really should be colored red as part of the access powers on WW2 maps. Canada should do the same. Exactly. South Africa, for example, is a unrepentant Russia supporter in this war, and it's disgusting. They pocket Canadian cash while simultaneously complaining about Western imperialism like good little Russian puppets. Insane that we send them anything. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.